What's up, y'all? I got a family to feed, so let's get into this tea. Um, y'all, we about to get into Boosie uh, insinuating that he had to walk out of the Color Purple movie. I'm going to tell y'all what he said. Now, I want y'all to know, before we even get into this, I am a Boosie fan, okay? And you want to know what drew me to Boosie? Two red bones kissing in the back seat. But you see, that's not even the topic at this very second, you know? But we're going to talk about it. I had to walk out this color purple movie and two other older couples walked out also. Okay. Because I had my little girls with me and it seemed like a rainbow love story. Good acting, but whoever wrote the script is pushing the narrative, uh, pushing the narrative hard. As a parent, I will not let my little girl watch this film. Quite frankly, that pisses me off. I'm going to tell y'all what the problem is with this. Let me see. How long ago did the song Diking come out? Diking Boosie. Okay. 15 years ago. Let me show y'all. Just give me a second. 15 years ago, and this was on somebody else's channel because Boosie did not have his paperwork and all that shit together back in the days. But this says 10 years ago. This is 15. I'm going to say 15 years ago is when Diking came out. All right? I'm going to tell y'all how it goes. Two red bones kissing in the back seat. Girl, don't stop. Keep going and relax me. Okay. You want me to join in? Just ask me. I like girls who like girls. That attract me. All right. Is one. Can one say that Boosie was promoting lesbianism 15 years ago? Could one say <coughs> that 15 years ago, Boosie made it cool to dyke? Because now she confused because she like niggas too. You bisexual, but it's cool. You know what I'm saying? Can one say he convinced a lot of females from back in the days? Okay, let me let me record myself on a short because I'm I'm. I am sick of this nigga, okay? 15 years ago, I was in high school, right? Don't call me old. Talking about your mother. Don't call me old. <laughs> but 15 years ago, I was in high school, right? And I'm on the basketball team. The nigga said... I like girls who like girls that play basketball. You know what I'm saying? He said that. <laughs> <laughs> no, he said they damn near turned out everybody play basketball. <laughs> but I ain't got no problem. I savage y'all. And I'm a real ass nigga. I ain't mad at y'all. Okay. That nigga said, and if Boosie was a preacher, I'll marry y'all. Hold on, y'all. I'm getting my reel ready. <laughs> I ain't got no problem. I savage y'all. And I'm a real ass nigga. I ain't mad at y'all. And if Boosie was a preacher, I'll marry y'all. And sneak up on a hundred months of walking like a dog. That was 15 years ago. The legendary song, They Dykin'. Uh, Boosie put that song out, and I got to say, he made me feel better about liking women than I did before. I'm like, shit. Because at the time, you know, set it off was my thing, you know what I'm saying? Uh, don't fuck with me, fuck with me, you know what I'm saying? Like, do what you do, but watch my shoes, you get what I'm saying? But when Dykin came on, <laughs> you see... I'm like, oh, we accept it. They like us. 
Boosie fuck with us. So <clears throat> I can do this. I'm just wondering how in 15 years he done had little girls. One of his daughters is gay, by the way. Now, he did say, I was just saying that for other people. I wasn't talking about for my daughters. Well, Boosie, if karma was a person, <laughs> that shit done smacked him in the face in 2024. Do you hear me? Like, out of all things to speak about when it came to this movie, <clears throat> Little girls was being sold to grown ass men. Little girls were being sold to grown ass men. Little girls were being stalked by grown ass men. Little girls were being essayed by grown ass men. Little girls were being beat on by grown ass as men and they kissed twice one of the worst kisses i've ever seen in my life i will never watch the original one again whoopi goldberg kissing a woman was disgusting but i ain't gonna lie fantasia was even worse one of the worst kisses you ever see <laughs> Y'all, honey, I was in there dying. <laughs> One of the worst kisses I've ever seen in my life. And out of all things to complain about, <laughs> you complain so much that you had to leave. <sighs> and two other older people walked out, too. He trying to make it seem like I ain't by myself. <clears throat> So then he says yesterday, why if someone doesn't agree with the narrative, with the, I guess, gay narrative that's being pushed? Why do y'all say that the person who don't agree is gay? That's bullying. We have a right as parents to say it's not cool for a seven and nine year old to watch this. We have rights as a parent to protect our children as much as we can. I have no problem at all with the rainbow people. My granddad was a preacher, Southern Baptist, and I'm just trying to raise my kids with the same beliefs, with the same beliefs and respect we was raised with. It's just this world will have you, will have you in a fight to do so. Well, let me ask you a question, Boosie. Did your granddaddy tell you that they dyking shouldn't have came out 15 years ago? You probably wasn't listening if he said it. If he said it, you probably wasn't listening. <coughs> So here, 15 years later, you dealing with some karma. I'm glad he dealing with the karma because, nigga, girl, you can't halfway below, okay? Add a woman in front of Boots and he shaking in his boots. However, he still speaks about how he likes women to do it to him together. He still speaks about that. He's such a hypocrite and he does not know how hypocritical he is. Just a condescending ass nigga, too. But anyway, I just wanted to say that, make my quick little short or whatever, let y'all know how I was feeling about the whole situation. Let me know what y'all thinking down in the comment section below. We are done with this video. Love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Hell yeah.